Today we're gonna put our big tool rack together. I really like how it came in the crate here. I think I can repurpose the crate. So I'm gonna to try to be real careful taking it apart. And that big, nice, solid wooden box like this, there seems like there would be some use for it. Let's see if it wants to lift up on the other end. Hey, hey, hey. This stuff is packed in here really nice, isn't it? Everything is individually wrapped. I don't think I've ever seen anything packed with this much detail. Here's the piece I've been looking for. Yeah, this is the main frame. Kind of have to have it to get started with the install. You're supposed to start with this main frame, put the box on it and everything, build it on the floor. Not being very good at following direction. I'm gonna do mine different. I'm going to first install it on the three-point hitch and then build it on the three-point hitch. That's my objective. Can I do a dance with it? Do-si-do. -si -do. And there's four holes. Gotcha. These four holes. Oh, heck, we're already right on we're the We're almost one. there. Okay, you want me to help? We're gonna do it right, okay? Here, we're, these obviously go in here. <laughs> <laughs> So we'll do it right, but we'll do it. We'll do it. You're right. We'll, we'll do it. Do it once, and then we'll do it right. Okay. <laughs> so Zach, you're off work this week. I am this weekend next. That's cool. Well, I'll put you. I'll put you to work. That's why I'm here. We'll find something to do. <laughs> yeah, we were going to work outside this morning. We had big project plans. We had project work to do here. We had a project at a customer. There was no rain in the forecast. And it hasn't stopped. Right. The nut go on first or the blocker? I think the nut here can go home. <laughs> <laughs> you could have told me that before I got here. <laughs> hey. There you go. Thank you. It's interesting, it's already working as a workbench. We've, we're beginning to transfer <laughs> our hardware over here even <laughs> while we're building it. It's working out pretty good. I don't know if you look over there, Zach, I'm using a, well, I, I'm using my Ventrac stump grinder for the workbench right over here. Oh, gotcha. gotcha. Still on the crate. So the Ventrac stump grinder is coming to a good use already, even though it's not grinding stumps. If there's a flat surface around <laughs> here, it'll probably be covered with something. I understand that. If I clean something off at the house and, and give it a flat surface, it ain't about 10 seconds before somebody throws something on it. I just gave up on cleaning the garage. Sturdy. Well, this uh, this bolt over here gives you a little bit of trouble on it. Yeah, shopping. I had a little trouble with that. But just a little. Okay, that was the assembly of the A ribs. Next is the assembly of the cross beam. Okay, so that has a left brace mount and a right brace mount. Oh, on top. Uh, I believe it goes underneath. I believe it goes underneath. Because well, it's going to be right with this board. Well, here. would we want. Would we want it to be like that then? And then bar set on top of this? The bar should be the same level as this bar. Okay. The only so way then we can it would accomplish be that okay. is like this. Gotcha. I believe. I think you're right. All right. See if that looks like the picture. That looks pretty it does good. look like the picture. At least on our model, some of the bolt heads are 12 millimeter and some are 13 millimeter. That may change. It's, it's, in each case, they're eight millimeter bolts. Yours may or may not be the same. Assembly of the four hole tool holders and chainsaw holder. So the tool holders are gonna be on that side. The chainsaw holder is gonna be on this side. And so for this side, we have to put one on each. Okay, here we go. Look at there. That way. You ready? Yep. It's actually pretty easy, Christy. It's mostly just read the pictures. Some instructions are like overly ridiculously hard to understand. Yeah. The but pictures this are one, terrible. I like this oh, approach here. to holding tools, I think. Especially That's, shovels and rakes. 
That's not, it really is. I mean, you gotta worry about them hitting trees or whatever, the fence when you drive by. Yeah, and I think our next step is to put these uh, bins. No, maybe the, Little yeah. clips down here. Bins on the front to where you put your handles down and they have a place to rest. Boy, it's really raining now. That's so much for a dodge and a shower or two today. Well, when, one thing that we've noticed in this shed is we've got to get a roof in here because it seems really loud. Yeah. You would have no, I wouldn't be nervous at all about standing out in that rain. Right. If we take a look at it, it won't even look like it's raining. I mean, it's, in there it sounds like it's pouring and out here it's. Not too bad. I don't, I, I see you're not really stepping out very far, Christy. Nope, let's go back in now. <laughs> Got some bright stuff to put on now, Zach. All right, cool. I they, thought we just had these ones. black ones. Yeah, there's big ones. These are the yellow ones. And then there's the little ones. Grab one of those little ones. All right. Or both of them. Now those go on the front. These are the yellow ones? The ones you got or the ones I got? No, I got the black ones. Okay. All right. <laughs> He's impossible. <laughs> you it told me to get them. Like, yeah, I did. Oh, that That's... was easy. Well, there's a bolt that goes yeah. to hold them together. Yeah, or it won't stay long. Hey, Zach, have you ever told our viewers what you do for a living? I don't know. Uh, I work at uh, Chrysler Transmission Plant in well, Kokomo, Indiana for 20 years. In the last three years, I've been three and a half or so. I've been at uh, Tipton, but building uh, eight and nine speed transmissions. Actually, nine speed transmissions now. Yeah, I bet you weren't building nine speeds when you started. Oh, no, four speeds, maybe a three speed. Isn't that amazing? Yeah, yeah, it's pretty wild. Yeah, it's changed a lot. You like it? Uh, I mean, it's, it's a job, you know. Uh, I don't build transmissions anymore, I deliver parts, so. But it's been good to you and good oh, to your family. It's been great, yeah. I mean, it's, I went to college for a year, so. Just wasn't you. Wasn't me, and then uh, I just, you know, lucked into a job that pays well and good insurance. Two kids cost nothing, you know, yeah, for delivery and, your wife and all that. So. Your wife works there too. Yeah, we've been lucky, yeah, yeah. It's been really good to both of us. Well, that's cool. Yeah, hard to come by those jobs anymore. Yeah, I kind of have a big job announcement that I haven't told many people online about. Um, I recently, well, I told my employer that I was ready to quit and go full time with what we're doing here on YouTube and, and our landscaping work. But I also said that if they needed me, I'd stay around for a couple days a week. So I'm still working a couple of days a week now in software software, architecture, design, development, that type of thing. And, uh, and the rest of the time, it's working with you guys. Yeah, I loved the software business for 25 years. Unfortunately, I've been doing it for 30. <laughs> we used to like work a whole lot more, the wife and I both. We did work up in Kokomo. Uh, when we first started, I mean, there were so many people there, but uh, we just had a great department. I mean, a lot of, lot of people in hundreds, but just good people. Had a lot yeah, of fun. Yeah, we got uh, that one, I think, already. Holidays and whatnot, um, pitch-in, dinners, things that we just don't do anymore. Yeah, the work environment has changed. Got a lot of younger kids, and they keep to themselves more, and yeah. just not as family style. Yeah, it's different. Work world is different. I think most of viewers would agree. It's it's just not the same thing as it was. Is it better or worse? I don't know, but it's just not the same. Yeah, the works, I mean, as far as work goes, it's it's still work, you know? I mean, people do their work for the most part. I mean, there's some difference in the generations, but uh, the biggest difference is just the uh, the family style atmosphere that we have with one another. The community. That we, that we worked with, you know, everybody. I think you, you, know, you spend more time with them than you do with your kids, you know, even, so. Yeah. Assembly of two grass trimmer holders and three universal tool holders. All right. So your universal tool holders have the shorter bracket and this is a uh, longer bracket is for the weed trimmer. Weed trimmer is gonna go on the front bar, whichever side you want, I guess, but uh, I guess we're gonna pick this right side here. Okay. A minute ago, we were trying to put these on and we were trying to put the bracket bustly. No luck, so we finally figured out that this neat little bracket fits over the top where we bolted on. Like you're saying, we were actually trying to slide this over this bracket. It just looks like what would make sense, but then we were figure, trying to figure out we were supposed to have three of one and two in the other, but when we put them on this way, then our tool holder was the wrong way. So we Well, finally... this makes so much better sense. We use that little slot right there, put it right on. We'll put all three of these on one side, I think. These are handy as can be. I 
Yeah. I totally misunderstood how they work. Good thing I was here. Yeah. <laughs> Hey, we had to turn off the camera for like an hour to figure this out. Oh, it wasn't an hour. <laughs> Not quite. <laughs> it makes perfect sense. You got to have a little room sticking away from this side rail to get your tools on there easy. If not, you're going to be trying to bang your hands on the, on the rails. The, and... the, little, the little slot on the back side fits perfectly with the... How are you going to try to use those rubber clips on here when it's slammed all the way up there? Made no sense. I'm using these gear wrenches, Christy. I love them. Those were really handy. So I was at Menards one day with Christy and they had gear wrenches on sale. I said, I need some gear wrenches. So I get home with my new gear wrenches and Christy being the organizer says, well, where should we store them in the toolbox, right? So she's looking through all the drawers and reading all the labels that she's already made. And, and finally she says, should I put them right, right here, here with the gear, gear wrenches? Wrench. <laughs> <laughs> well, uh, you can never have too many gear wrenches. <laughs> <laughs> We're gonna be putting these here, you think? Is that the objective? Yeah, either side, yeah, one side or the other. And if we uh, put one our, down here, yeah, can well, we still put the the full? Yes, piece? yeah, that's still gonna go on there. And I just imagine if you needed to use wood, you're gonna have to take your. Uh, if you want to use this rack, you're gonna take your trimmer yeah, but out. Yeah, you, you can take the trimmer out, but right. you don't have to take the piece off. Right. Well, this thing is so configurable. That's one thing I didn't realize. You, I mean. Can do a lot. This is like Lego blocks. They show you a way to build it in the instructions, but then once you begin to look around, you realize, yeah, I, I didn't have to build it just like this. I could have yeah. set it up for what works best for the kind of machinery and tools you're using. So to start with, we'll build the model that was uh, specified in the package, like with Legos. And then maybe later we'll change it. Okay, we first tried to put this on. We, we were noticing that this was just going to flop down here, and then we realized we didn't follow the instructions properly. There are little nylon washers to go on each side of this, and then we'll be able to tighten that down. It's going to be a little hard to slide those in there. Yeah, tricky, not hard, work. just tricky. First one isn't bad, right? The second the first, one. first side is not bad. Okay, I'm going to stick it through there till I get the hole to where I can see my screwdriver. And then I can control it. That's going to be the trick, Zach. Yeah. So if you can get. Okay. That's working good. I guess sometimes I just don't read the instructions good enough. Maybe somebody else reads them right that doesn't have to do it but once, but. <laughs> Told you. If you'd have just let, let me lead it, we would have done it right the first time. I just held my mouth the right way and got it. Is that what it took? Somehow or another, I got lucky. <laughs> yeah, no rattling now. Either. Simple simple solution, they'll stay where you put them. Christy already started, kind of got a little bit ahead, but I started strapping on these rubber straps that'll hold your tools on. Pretty neat, several, uh, several holes. Okay, so it doesn't really matter what size your tool no. is. Okay, let's see if we can get this tailgate on. This seems like a like some sort of a major crowning achievement or something, right? All right, a little spring-loaded pin. Well, that was easy enough. Sweet. And that's how it's gonna be when it's latched, huh? Let's take okay. that down because we got- More to do. More oh. to do. Now, I think it'll go all the way down, but we're gonna have to figure out where these go. They got this one on here good. How about yours? Oh, you should have saw how stuff was packed. You, we, we unpacked for an hour before you got here this morning. <laughs> I think that's the plan right there. I'd say you're right. Okay. All right. And it fits right up in there behind the top. Got the wheels to put on, right? That's about it. Let's that's do right. the front one first. Now, do you want them as deep as possible? Or well, I think for transport, you'd want them up, right? But yeah, we'll, when you get out, yeah. But let's prepare to take the thing off. So All let's right. put them down here. So easy, I can do it. I'm right here if you need help. Okay. I may need it. Okay, the next step here is talking about assemb assembly of the counterweight bracket and top link connector, but we did that first. So it looks like the rubber mat 
is the only thing we got left to assemble. Still not uncurled, we'll just put the curled side down. Okay, the manual said that the total weight capacity is 600 pounds, the tailgate capacity is 100 pounds, and the hitch capacity is 50 pounds. Note to self, don't sit on the tailgate. Now the tailgate is easily removable, but it looks like we have to take these bolts out. Be nice to have pins there or something. Or more like bolts. a pickup truck has the, with the spring loaded kind of release. We put it together here on the quick hitch. And if you look at the earlier portion of the video, you'll probably see that we didn't have the bushings on there perfectly, but it didn't matter for the assembly. Let's see if it comes right off the quick hitch, Zach. Roll it off. Yeah, as soon as, well, we, we had this uh, gotcha. hitch a little bit long here. Yep. Oh, yeah. Hey, you got yourself a rolling garden cart right here. You can keep all your tools in. It's sort of a, a workbench that you can take with you everywhere you want to go, you know, even out in the woods or whatever. Okay, that's it for the assembly of the big tool rack. Zach, thanks for coming over and helping us. Anytime. Glad, so, to, glad to get out of the house. Yeah, well, I don't think we could have done it without you. No. Uh, the uses for this thing are probably endless. I mean, just well, it's just up to your imagination what you could use it for. I agree. But it's going to be somewhat like an, a UTV on the, on the back end here, and we can put, who knows, we may actually haul some video equipment in it so we can have more video equipment on scene. Um, it's, it's hard to know what we're going to use it for, but we'll show you as we go along. So thanks for watching, everybody. Thank you, Zach. And we'll see you next time on Tractor, Tractor Time, time with, with Tim. Tim. Oh, I thought they sent you the wrong parts. I was going to tell you it looked like it was way too short to go this way. I thought they had them. I thought they messed it up. <laughs> we'll break the news, but obviously I was looking at it wrong. Uh, I don't know. Strap Christy in. in. The Christy strap? Yeah. You can just go wherever the tractor goes. Wherever I go.